Hello, wonderful humans. Serge here. Yesterday was a pretty big day. It was the 13th of May, which might seem like an ordinary day by any normal standards, but actually the Notion API was released. This is kind of cool because now we can start to connect information from any other app into Notion using tools like Zapier or through custom code. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to automate data entry into Notion databases from almost any other app like Google Calendar, Gumroad, or Typeform using Zapier. I'm gonna be walking through two examples in this video. The first is how to connect information coming in from Google Calendar to update in Notion so that you can view calendar events in Notion's calendar view. The second is a walkthrough of how to automate database updates from Gumroad into Notion for the purposes of tracking new leads or customers who buy your products. In theory, you can connect this to basically any app using the API, but I just wanted to highlight two common use cases that you might want to use this for. If you don't know what Zapier is, then I've left a link below for you to check out. But in short, it allows apps to talk to each other, allowing you to read, write, update, and delete information in one app based on the conditions and information in another app. Basically, it allows apps to talk to each other. Kind of cool, huh? So we're gonna dive right in and check this out. Awesome. So kicking things off, you wanna have Zapier open somewhere near your Notion workspace. In the Notion workspace, I've created two pages. The first is this test calendar database, which we're gonna be integrating Google Calendar with. And the other one is another database called test products, which we're gonna be integrating Gumroad with. So starting with the Google Calendar example, I want to have a look at this. I've set up a date field and also a tag called team meetings and rename this column to meeting name. Let's move over to Zapier and start the magic. So once you've logged in, then you'll want to create a new zap. Once you've created your new zap, then rename it something that you'll remember. So this is Google Cal new events to Notion calendar. And I'm going to select Google Calendar as the trigger event for this zap. Once I've selected it, then I basically have to pick what actual function in Google Calendar do I want to start this zap. And I'm going to say new event, but you could pick anything. I'm going to hit continue. Then I have to select which account I'm going to be logging into Google Calendar with. Here you might be prompted to sign in and that just allows Zapier to read and write information. Then I have to specify what exact calendar. See, I'm on lots of different calendars for different teams, etc. but I'm just gonna pick my personal calendar here and click continue. And once that's done loading, then we're just gonna do a quick test between Google Calendar and Zapier. Great, okay, here's some random test data that I made earlier. This says, this is a test description and it was made by me. Continuing, we're gonna go into the action. So what do we want this to do after this trigger has happened? And I want to call Notion. And here we are. Once I've got that set up, then I'm going to need to choose what I want to happen in Notion. So either I can create a new item in a database, update an old item in a database, or find stuff. So I want to create a new item in a database and hit continue. Then I have to select the Notion account that I want to use. And I've already been playing around with this, so I've got these, but what I'll do is connect a new account. You'll get a little window that looks something like this, and you'll be prompted for a little API token. So where do you get this from? I'm just gonna move this across the side for a bit and go back to Notion for a second. So this is where it gets a little bit confusing if you haven't done this before, but all of this is in a really helpful doc made by the Notion team. I'll leave this in the comments below and it will just walk you through everything. But while we're following along with the video, you go back to your workspace and hit settings and members, and then integrations, a new button. Then hit develop your own integrations and you get bounced to a page that looks a little bit like this. I wanna hit new integration and call this something that's memorable again. So Google Cal events to Notion and 
You can add a logo here so that you remember what these look like. You might just set up a load of these and not be able to distinguish them, so that's kind of helpful. And then choose which workspace you want to integrate with. I'm going to pick EduCreator OS and hit submit. Great. Now I've got this other page here, which basically gives me this token, which is here. And I hit show and then copy. And then I want to go back to that authorization page and paste it here. Great. Nice. So now I've copied that across, I'm just going to show you what else is possible on this page. You can pick if it's a public integration, meaning that any other Notion users can review and check it out, or if it's just an internal integration, meaning that it's something for just this workspace and your team. And what I want to do now is hit Save Changes and leave this alone and come back to Zapier. Great, so you'll notice how it said Notion 3 here. Basically, each API token that you relate to Zapier will create a new Notion account here. It's not just one Notion workspace, so you have one Notion account. It's every time you generate an API token like we just did earlier. I'm going to hit continue and moving on. I want to find the database that I'm working in. And if you're kind of flowing along, you'll notice that it doesn't say anything here, which is kind of frustrating, but this is where it gets kind of cool. If I go back to Notion and head back to this test calendar page, you can actually share permissions with this page as you would as if you were sharing it with somebody on your team. So I was previously working in here with Molly, but now I'm going to select Google Cal Events Notion. So I have to give permission to the integration. So I hit that and say invite, and you'll notice that it is present here. So that means that this integration bot is aware of this page and its existence now. So if I come back to Zapier and hit refresh, and then hit database again, you'll see that I have access to the test cow page. I'm gonna select that and it will update the fields. Ta-da, cool, we've got meeting name and we've got tags and we've got the date. That's all the stuff that we saw back in the Notion database. So. What I want to do is start populating these fields with information that's coming off of Google Cal. So I'm going to select meeting name and I'm going to hit the summary here. So this is a test event. And after that, I want to hit tags. And this will basically pull the tags that are coming from the Notion database. So if you noticed earlier, I made team meeting. So I want to select that. You can actually have multiple tags in here because it's a multi-select field. And then I can also put in the date. So I want to take this information here, event begins, the pretty version. Let's have the pretty version. This content field is for whatever you want to put inside this page. So let's say this was a page coming from Google Calendar, whatever I want to put in here. So meeting description, I can basically start to write it in here in Zapier. So what I want to search for here is if I hit show all options, then I get a longer list of options to select from. And I'm looking for the description. And if I can't find it because there's too many, I can just hit description. There we go. This is a test description. Amazing. And I want to hit continue. And I'll be asked to test the connection between Zapier and Notion. It's kind of an exciting moment, test and continue. A database item was sent to Notion just now. Really, was it? Let's find out. It was, cool. So now I have information in Notion, which says Notion test event, May 19th, blah, blah, blah. It's a team meeting, and I want it to say this is a test description. So that's the Google Calendar example, and now I want to move on to show you how you could integrate Gumroad. Nice, so the second example that I'm going to be walking through is how to connect Gumroad to Notion. This is a common one for anyone who's a Gumroad creator and a lot of Gumroad creators also use Notion, so I thought it'd be fun to go through. Basically, you want to start in the same place, Zapier, and you'll be pretty familiar with this by now and create a Zap. Inside this Zap, we want to rename it to something memorable, so I'm going to hit the rename thing up here and say Gumroad sale to Notion and hit Gumroad. Really simple, 
every time something is sold, so I want to hit sale, this is the trigger, we want to do something in Notion. I need to select which Gum Gumroad account I want to use and I'm going to select this one. Inside here I've actually got a template which is called the Ultimate Online Course Template and hit continue. It will basically pull up a bunch of test information for me to see that it's actually connected to Gumroad. I'm going to say continue and that will put me into the action. So once something happens in Gumroad, what do I want it to do in what app? I'm going to say Notion and click there. The action I wanted to take is to create a new database item and then I'm going to select which Notion account I'm going to use. But remember each API integration creates a new Notion account in Zapier. So this isn't just one Notion account for my whole workspace. And I'm going to say connect a new account. This will give me the little pop-up window again and I'm going to go and get this API key that it's asking for. So I'm going to go back to Notion and hit settings and members, integrations. Once this is loaded, hit develop your own integrations and it will bring me back to this page. I want to create a new integration and call this Gumroad. Sale to Notion and hit submit. This gives me a new token and I'm going to copy that and put it in that Zapier pop-up window. Hit continue and then head back to my workspace. In here you can see that I've got a customer name field some tags, so maybe you want to say that this is a new lead or that this person needs a refund. I've also got a field for the product name that they bought and also a field for their email. I'm going to go back to Zapier to finish the rest of the integration and see that this made Notion 5, so this is a new Notion account as Zapier calls it, and hit continue. Then again, it won't know that I'm doing any actions on a database because I haven't given uh, permission to this page. So I want to hit share and then select the Gumroad sale notion integration and set invite and show up there. Then going back over to Zapier, I'm going to hit refresh. Nice. So that's refreshed and I can now find my page, new customers. Yay and this will update a bunch of the fields. And as you can see, I can now start to take information from Gumroad and put it into the different fields in the Notion database. So here we are in customer name. I'm gonna select the full name of the person. I don't actually collect the names of the people who buy my products, so that will actually just be empty. I'm gonna put something in here, which is John Doe, so you get the gist when it shows up in Notion. And then the product name field, I'm gonna select the name of the product. And then the email, I can select the email of this person. And then I'm gonna choose the tag, and this comes from Notion, not from Gumroad, as you can see here. And this person could be a new lead, or they might need a refund, so I'm gonna say new lead. And hit continue. Once that's loaded, it'll give me a little test. So this will allow me to see if it's actually working between Zapier and Notion. Fingers crossed, all is well. A database item was sent to Notion just now. Thank you. Going back here, you can see that John Doe was added. I'm going to delete these two fields so it looks pretty. And they bought this product. This is their email. This is the tag that I have for them. And if I did want to put any information for John Doe, it would be in here. Head back to the dashboard just to check that everything's all right. And there they are, my two happy Notion integrations. So that was a quick and dirty walkthrough of how to automate different tasks and get information from your various apps into Notion using Zapier. If you like this walkthrough, then subscribe to the channel and click the like button. I'll be doing a bunch of these in the coming weeks just because I'm so excited about the API launch. I have a bunch of tasks that I want to get automated for my personal business and I'll probably be making videos as I go along. So expect to see many more of these. I hope this was helpful and that you guys are having fun during the lockdown wherever you are in the world. And 
If you want to check out any more of my stuff, then you can click on the little surge icon in the corner and that will bring you to my channel. Anyway, have a wonderful day and ciao.